Actually, it, was, it did come very easily to me because I was writing it in the first months of the pandemic. And I literally had nothing else to do. The protagonist in your series is Mike Bowditch, works with Maine Warden Service, investigates crimes. In the past, he has always had other people who are in jeopardy, whom he has been trying to help. This time, you put a little twist on it. I thought the time had come for me to have uh, a story about him trying to save himself. And <clears throat> Dead by Dawn takes place in the course of a single night, and it starts with him uh, going off a road into the frozen Androscoggin River and trying to stay alive after that. There's spikes in the road, so somebody tried to kill him. And it flops back and forth from chapter to chapter between Mike trying to save himself and also figure out who's trying to kill him. You yourself are a registered Maine guide, so you know the territory, and yet, you always, in writing your novels, turn to experts. You want to get the facts right, and you want to hear how they do their jobs, how wardens do their jobs, how cops do their jobs, and so forth. Writing this book threw you a curve because you simply couldn't get to these people and hang out with them the way you have in the past, right? That's right. That was the big thing for the pandemic for me was that, you know, in a given year doing research, I would do ride-alongs with wardens, you know, in boats or planes or or whatever, and that's where I get a lot of the stories, is just people talking, listening to them talk. And so it's not just the real research, it's, it's everything else about their job that makes it so interesting. And, and I really miss that. When the book arrived in the newsroom in the mail, I opened it up, saw the title Dead by Dawn, which I had not heard before. And I just went, ooh, good title, Dead by Dawn, I like that. How did you come up with it? You know, sometimes the best titles are the ones you don't think a whole lot about. And the, the previous book had been One Last Lie. And my agent was really big on the fact that that was three words. She said, I really like it. Three words, one last lie. And for some reason, Dead by Dawn came the same way. Publishers Weekly is one of the kind of Bibles of the book industry. The review from Publishers Weekly of Dead by Dawn said it was the best book yet in what is a first-rate series. How did that make you feel? Uh, relieved. <laughs> you know, you, you write these books and then you, they, they land in the hands of the, uh, the uh, reviewers. And, you know, I think sometimes that a book is, is special. Not everybody agrees, um, but in the rollout for publication, it just makes it so much easier if you're beginning to hear from people that, that this is something special. And, and for me, too, that, you know, this is book number 12. Um, I, I haven't lost it. <laughs> I, still, I can still pull it off, you know. <laughs> it's always good to know. When you started writing your first novel, I have no idea if you imagined or hoped that you'd be doing it a dozen years later. What is it like? Are you enjoying the ride? I could not have believed it. Um, I, used to, I used to say to people, oh, I'm going to write 12 books, and each one is going to take place in a, in a different month of the year. I have now written 12 books. Each one has taken place in a different month of the year. And for book number 13, I've had to throw it all out the window because there are only 12 months. Um, so, you know, it's, I've stopped forecasting where this is all gonna go for me because I really, I've learned just to enjoy the ride. You know, it's a wonderful life and I just, I'm so grateful for my readers. It's, it's I can't say enough.